Are you feeling OK? I <sighs> just got a bit of a headache. Well, I don't mind. I can go to Davies if you want and get you something for it. I'm sure I'll manage. No, no, it's, it's no bother. You weren't feeling yourself yesterday, either. I'm fine, OK? Jamie, aren't you due at the solicitors? I'll do my diary for me now, are you? <laughs> Someone needs to. If you don't take these divorce proceedings seriously, Andrea will end up... With what? A, a comfortable house for Millie to live in? Try fleecing you and making you look stupid. You just can't give it a rest, can you? So, I'm supposed to do nothing while you give our money away. Jamie! Are you OK? I told you I've got a headache. Which isn't ease by the thought of bunk-rolling Andrea. You were meant to have sorted this. Yes, and I am. Look, why don't you just go and get some fresh air? Fine. Don't mess this up. I won't. Your mum can be a bit full on sometimes, right? Still, I understand where she's coming from, though. Can you really? Well, yeah. I mean, no one wants to see their loved one taken advantage of. Have you ever wondered why Andrew's so keen to stick around here? You know, right under your nose? You mean apart from Millie's school and her business being here? <laughs> yeah, or the fact that she loves rubbing your face in it. What? Well, I just find it weird how she chooses to live in your pocket if she wants you both to move on as much as she says she does. Right. You know, this is all on her terms, Jamie. The perfect vantage point to show you how loved up her and her new boyfriend are. I can't stop her having a life, can I? Yeah, well, she'll probably have him moving in next. They've been together all of five minutes. Brand new, fun stepdad for Millie. Bet she's planning it already. And you'll just have to watch from the sidelines, I guess. Because as soon as the property's legally hers, well, you can't do anything about it. I'm gonna get a coffee in town. Hi. There's a problem with the figures on these contracts. Oh. Right. And uh, you printed these copies off for me? Well, yeah, but I didn't alter them. I thought it was just a standard agreement I was printing off. Yeah, it is. Yet here I am, looking at the wrong information. Right, I'm sorry. I don't know what's happened. But I spoke to Jamie earlier. Pretty sure I gave him some stuff to think about for the solicitors. Well, that's something at least. Yeah. I reckon he just needed a few things spelling out to him. Hmm. <clears throat> really? Why is she with him? Good, you're both here. What's going on? I said I'd buy Jamie a drink. We're celebrating. Celebrating? Well, go on then, ask me what for. I know you're dying to. Jamie signed the house over to me, along with the 100k settlement fee. What? Please say she's lying. And don't tell me we've scuppered a little plan you two were cooking up. You're too suspicious of people, Jamie. We, but, uh, but I don't understand. No, why would you? You're becoming just as selfish and blinkered as she is. Uh, now, hang on. No, you both hang on. Do you really think I wouldn't see straight through you? But I, I thought... Th what? That I wouldn't want Millie on my doorstep? To see her every day and know that she's happy and settled? You really are losing your edge, Mum. You used to train your minions so much better. Still, if it wasn't for Gabby, I might have dragged my feet for a bit longer, so I guess a uh, thank you is in order. I had no idea Jane was just going to roll over like that. I thought what I said to him made total sense. Yeah, well, your razor-sharp instinct just cost us a house. You can't put this on me, surely? No? Well, you were the one who talked me into letting you handle it. Looks like the honeymoon period's over for you two, then. Why the hell did you do it? Well, I understand the concept of human decency is largely alien to you, but... Don't patronise me. Fine. Strength isn't always about fighting. Oh, how very zen. It's over. OK, done. Give up. Where are you going? 
Got a conference in Birmingham first thing. Suddenly I can't wait for the peace and quiet of a soulless hotel room. Jamie! It's healthier if you just let things go, Mum. Trust me. I presume you don't need it spelt out your trial period's over. With all due respect, I can't exactly get inside Jamie's head. So, what can you do? Only I think we'd both agree betting Jamie probably didn't demand much skill on your part. Why are you being so mean to me? Mean? This isn't school, Gabby. Look, I know I'm still learning, but I thought I was doing all right before this. Can't you just give me another chance? Please, Kim, I really don't want to go back to my old job. Well, shame you're not better at this one, then. Kim, please. My mind's made up. Turns out you are just a pretty face. This isn't about me, is it? You're angry at yourself for losing a grip on your family. I think you should leave now. What, no patronising comeback? I'm right, aren't I? You're losing your edge and you don't like how it feels. Get out. Fine. No point speaking to you when you're like this, anyway. I mean, get out of my house. But I live here. Not anymore, you don't. Are you serious? Bye, Gabby. Right, then. Gabby! You don't need to leave. 